It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Nerd Brewing and it's a bottle of their Continue. It's a 2020 version of their open source beer. It's a fifth anniversary imperial stout with toasted coconut and cinnamon. It's 13% ABV in a 330 milliliter bottle and the IBUs are 65. We've got a lovely wax top on the neck of the bottle. The beer was kindly sent to us by Hakan. Oh, that's it. Hakan in Sweden. I've just got to get enough of a... There we go. I just need to get enough of a purchase on the neck of the bottle so we can crack it off. Here we go. This should be enough. Look at that. Without further ado, let's get the beer in the glass. Look at that. Now, some of you wise old heads out there, and I noticed that as soon as I started pouring the beer. This glass has been through the dishwasher and I just grabbed it out of the cupboard. Unfortunately, as I was pouring the beer, I was like, oh my goodness me, the glass is dirty. And do you know, the, do you know how you can tell by, what, what a, by a dirty glass or, or when you pour beer in a dirty glass? Carbonation clings to the side of the glass. So my, my apologies, a little slight embarrassment there that I poured a beer in a dirty glass. I must have put it in a dishwasher. Sometimes you put things in the wrong way and they don't quite clean. I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't as if it was covered in brown sauce or, or, or red sauce or, or vinegar or anything like that. So it should be okay. Jet black beer in the glass, good levels of carbonation. Let's get the, oh, the heads dissipated very quickly. 13% ABV, a coconut, Cinnamon Imperial Stout. Toasted Coconut. Whoa! Fabulous roasted chocolatey malts coming through. A little bit of that toasted coconut in the aroma. I'm ready to dive in. Cheers everybody. <laughs> That's divine. That is absolutely divine. Fantastic beer. I've got to put it down. Stone the Crows. Stone the Crows. What a fantastic beer. Real roasty flavours coming through. That's 65 IBUs. So they put a lot of hops in the beer. Combined with that roasted malt is given quite a bitterness on the beer. When you roast malt, you get a natural bitterness from the, the roasting of the malt. When you, pardon me, when you of course put a lot of hops in a beer, get the 65 IBUs with the, with the hops, you're going to bring about quite a bit of bitterness in the beer. But it's not just that, the mouthfeel is incredible. A big, thick, rich, creamy mouthfeel with flavours of coconut and cinnamon bursting through bursting through. Quite a carbonated stout as well. Carbonation pushes around the inside of the mouth, releases more of that flavour. But the richness of the beer, the body, the thick rich body of the beer is just tremendous. Absolutely tremendous. Fantastic. Stone the Crows. Stone the Crows. Many thanks to Hakan in Sweden again. Thanks Hakan for sending us the beer. We've been a bit of a bit of time getting to the end of this one. Um, in fact, Hakan sent me a letter. So we'll find the nerd brewing beer now. There it is. Oh, it's just uh, they're based in Malmo in Sweden. It's their fifth anniversary Imperial Stout. There we go. 
So Hakan sent us a load of amazing beer. We've just, we're just getting to the end of it all. Um, what a parcel of beer that got sent to us. Oh, I've got one, I've got two more. I've got two more. I thought I, I thought it was done. I thought it was finished, but I haven't. I've got a, um, an Omnipolo to show you, and also a an Anagram. Anagram and Omnipolo, a Doug's, a Doug's beer to show you. And this is the Omnipolo Elsa that I'm gonna get out. So yeah, um, we've still got a couple of beers to go. Um, it's been it's been really busy. Um, it's been really, really busy on the channel as of as of late, we've been doing lots and lots of live feeds and keeping the nation smiling and laughing. And to be honest, I'm going to be perfectly honest, in, in the 10 years that we've been reviewing beer on YouTube, um, we haven't, I mean, because of the live feeds, and they've just been completely knocking me out the next day. I haven't been doing as much reviewing as I as I probably used to. I'm still releasing beers. I've got a bit of a backlog of beers to, to release. But I was up the Chinese earlier um, looking through my release schedule and I was thinking, I'm a bit I'm getting a bit thin on the ground here. I need to start reviewing beer again. So I'm back on it. Um I've I did a live feed yesterday, it was Friday night yesterday. I did the VE Day celebrations yesterday on a live feed we had loads of people the wife joined in craft beer lady on youtube check her out um lots of fun and today i thought to myself we're gonna do it we're gonna get some reviews in saturday night ready for ready for next week to release so fabulous beer loads of coconut loads of rich flavors coming through caramel Chocolate coffee caramel flavors from if you think of thick dark chocolate Lovely kind of rich kind of feel to it. If you think of sweet Caramel again, it's sticky And if you think of a coffee like a latte or an espresso something like that Then it's big and thick and bold and when you when you're thinking about these flavors or when you're tasting these flavors in the beer for me it's very important that the beer matches up with that kind of mouthfeel that you expect from, from eating a bit of dark chocolate or drinking a bit of sticky, eating a bit of sticky caramel, or of course drinking a, a, a lovely coffee. You think about mouthfeel with these things, so it's important that they they match up with the beer. There's a bit of cinnamon. The cinnamon goes really well with the toasted coconut. Nice bitterness on the back end. Touch of sweetness to begin with. Good levels of carbonation. Fabulous. Let's see what the brewer says about this beer. Not much. Well, they've, they've given all the stuff on the front of the, of the beer. Um, malted barley, wheat, oats, coconut and cinnamon. I'm ready to rate it. Nerd Brewing. Fantastic. What a fantastic brewery. The last time I had a beer from Nerd Brewing was actually a ghost pepper. A ghost pepper stout, which was really good. Lovely kind of peppery spice. I've actually released it today. Reviewed it weeks ago and released, released it today. So, rating on the Nerd Brewing Open Source Beer Continue 5th Anniversary Edition. Looks like a fantastic Imperial Stout. Smells like a fantastic Imperial Stout. I mean, for a 13% ABV beer, it's drinking sensationally well. You can see the alcohol legs. You can see, look at that. On the side of the glass but what a beer what a beer as you rock it back and forth you can see the carbonation chasing the head of the glass i'm gonna rate it i'm gonna rate it for me that's a stone the crows nine out of ten. Nine out of ten from real craft beer please put your comments in the comments box subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews give us a big fat thumbs up thank you thank you again to hakan boom cheers